Hi everyone, today we'll be doing a walkthrough of the main Flux Outlook add-in for Mac users. Your first step will be ensuring the add-in is available to you, which you'll do by opening an email, navigating to this top bar, and searching for the purple text box icon labeled Name Coach. Once you click that icon, it'll automatically launch the add-in for you. We always recommend utilizing this pin feature here at the top, which ensures the add-in remains open as you move from email to email. The first section we're going to take a look at is the pronunciation section here at the top. We have this drop-down menu, which will show you all of the users that are within the email you have open. Once I select a name, it pulls up this section here. So as we can see, this audio icon has a library book in the bottom corner. That's showing me this is a library recording from the Name Coach database. I can play it just by clicking the icon. Hi. We also have this drop-down menu here, which is going to show you different dialects and pronunciations that are available for that name within the Name Coach database. For example, as you saw, the pronunciation was slightly different than that first pronunciation we listened to. We do also have this bookmark feature, which if I know this is the way the name is pronounced from the person I'm working with, I can go ahead and bookmark that. And it'll automatically play that pronunciation whenever I'm emailing this recipient. We do also have this microphone here. Let's say I've worked with Keely and I know that her name is pronounced a certain way. I can contribute a peer recording to my community as well, and that would show up as an audio icon and it would show in the bottom corner that it was a peer recording. The next section we're going to take a look at is the My Recording section. So as you can see, showing the pronunciation is not available because I've not recorded my name yet. So my first step will be clicking this microphone to create a new recording. This instruction section here, quick start, you're going to want to allow microphone access. You'll get your countdown. Kylie Lecklider. Once I've recorded my name and clicked stop, it'll show me this box here. I have the option to re-record if I'm not satisfied with my recording, save my recording. And we do also have the ability to adjust the pitch if for any reason you listened to your recording and the pitch sounded slightly off. I'm going to leave my recording as is and click save. Now, as you can see, the My Recording section looks slightly different. I'm now going to show the audio icon with a key in the bottom record in the bottom corner, which shows this is an owner recording. It was recorded by the name owner. I also have this edit section if I'd like to re-record. And we have your audio link up here. By clicking this icon, you can copy your audio link and place it into your email signature if you would like to do so. The last section I'd like to point out is the search functionality here at the bottom. If there's someone's name I would like to look up who is not in the email I currently have open, I can search it here and it'll pull up a pronunciation for them. That's everything we have for today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Name Coach Support Team.